There is a new feature in Evernote that is certain to help streamline your workflow and increase your productivity. Now, Evernote can take an image and transcribe the text from that image. I'm Dave Edwards. If you haven't tried it yet, I want to show you how it works. And given that I don't exactly have great handwriting, we'll really put it to the test. I'm a certified Evernote expert. That means while I'm independent of the company, I pass a certification and get to participate in calls with Evernote staff and developers so that I can better teach you how to get the most out of Evernote. Sign up for my free weekly newsletter at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on the contact page. Okay, so some time ago, Evernote released its audio transcription feature. You can now record audio into a note in Evernote, and then Evernote will transcribe the file into text. It, it works really great, but sometimes I've been in a meeting where I don't want to use a keyboard because I don't want to give the impression that I'm checking my email, so I take notes on paper. In the past, I've later added that note to Evernote, but because it's an image, I couldn't easily extract the text without hand typing it out which I have done. But that problem is solved with image transcription. Now you have to be running version 10.103 or later to see this feature. Let's see it in action. I've opened up a new note and now we're going to insert an image. I am just going to drag in an image which is actually from one of my blog posts and it will attach the file. It'll show the picture, but then it says, do you want to uh, transcribe this? Now, if I was just looking at something I inserted, I wouldn't need to transcribe it. Uh, but if I want to paste this narrative into an email, then a transcription would be very helpful because otherwise all I would have is this image. So uh, let's click transcribe and see how long it takes. And let's see how accurate it is. Well, look what we have here. Let's compare the text. Boy, they got it. They nailed it. This is wonderful. Now, if I want to uh, you know, insert this text into an email, I can just copy it and I can put it into whatever document I want. So this was a printed uh, image that I just dragged into uh, this note. But let's give it a real challenge here because I do not have the neatest handwriting. In fact, I don't write anything in cursive anymore because uh, it's just so horrible. But I made every possible effort to uh, print. And that's the way I take notes when I'm, um, when I'm in a meeting. Uh, I will, in fact, just print Instead of writing, I will print everything, but it still can be very messy. So it has uploaded uh, that image. Now we're going to say transcribe it, and let's see what it comes up with. It worked! Look at that! Look at that! Even my horrible handwriting. Now, if I, if I want, I can cut and paste this, or I can, you know, modify it because I, I put everything on, uh, one, on, on different lines. But, uh, you know, I can modify it accordingly. But it transcribed everything perfectly. A couple of notes. Some people have asked if there's a size limit to the image that you can post. Not really, but the note can't be more than 9,216 pixels. Uh, that's huge, by the way. In, in fact, if you had such a big image, it would probably run over the uh, limit for all notes that exists. Uh, by the way, you can upload images in all sorts of different formats from JPEGs to PNG, GIFs, BMPs. I mean, the list goes on and on. Oh, and don't get this confused with Evernote's optical character recognition in which you can search for text in images. That, that's been there for a while. It's still there, but this is a way of extracting text from pictures. This will allow you to pull text from images and then paste it into an email or any other kind of document. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. Uh, I'll have more Evernote tips and tricks for you next week. Subscribe to the series below and you won't miss any of them.